I'm sorry, Luna, are you making drinks right now? Baby girl, you're pregnant. What are you doing? Oh my God, that better be for your girlfriend and not for you. Where is she taking that drink? I'm watching you so hard right now. What is that? That is literally liquor. Are you gonna drink that? Oh my God, I'm about to call Steve. <gasps> hey, hey everyone. Welcome back to our Not So Berry series, episode three of our Peach Generation. Honestly, a lot has gone on. I know it's only episode three, but last episode took a turn that I was not expecting at all, unprepared for, and honestly, kind of threw a wrench in my plans. So let's go ahead and hop in and see if we can recover from this. Okay, Percy and Luna are just hanging out here. Basically, we have a problem. The problem is Luna moved in super early and is super into us and we're partners and everything. So you might think that doesn't sound like a problem. It sounds great, actually. The problem is I don't have any room in the house for her. She's literally sleeping on a sleeping bag on the floor over here right now. Technically, we're dating, so she could join me in the bed. But if we wanted to have a kid, we would need to have one of my siblings, one of Percy's siblings, move out, find a partner and stuff like that. So I think today we're going to like super hardcore focus on getting either Harkin or Momo a significant other. Oh, Azalea got level 10 of wellness. Way to go, Azalea. I'm so proud of you. But I think our main goal is like operation get rid of my siblings so we can have children together because the comments were very pro baby. So I think that's exciting. Meanwhile, these two are getting along literally so well. And I think maybe to get the clock ticking, I might have them try for a baby. So that way I feel a little bit like not incentivized, but pressured to get one of my siblings a partner because we will literally have a ticking time bomb. So I think we're going to go ahead and see if we can ask Percy to try for a baby. Oh my God. Should we do it in the shower? Oh, I don't know where, where we want to try for a baby. Right in front of my mom, by the way. Oh my God. That's so awkward. Let's goose. It's an awkward encounter because Corrine is like literally right there. I cannot believe that you're doing this in front of Corrine. You nasties. Ew. Be enticing. Oh, okay. Harkin needs to provide tough feedback for a coworker. Straight and honest. Okay. She is like, oh my God, you're so hot. We should try for a baby. I'll just click try for a baby and go see where they do it. That's so awkward to like talk about that in front of your mom though. Harkin got promoted to caterer. Oh wait, what's that? Did we just get a new sentiment? Hold on. That might be one of the rarest sentiments. It is. Oh my God. This sentiment. I don't know how many of y'all have ever gotten this. Let me know in the comments. But opposites attracted is such a rare sentiment to get because literally opposites attract. Percy has romantic feelings for Luna, even though they're very different Sims. So it's like hard to get Sims who are very different from each other to pair like this. So I'm really, really excited about this. Let's go see where they're going to woohoo. Congrats on your promotion, by the way, Harkin. I'm really proud of you. Where is the woohoo place? Ooh, okay. We're going to try for a baby in just the regular bed. That makes sense. All right. You two have fun. Oh my God. Corrine. She did not just follow them up here. You little freak. That is so disgusting. You literally, they were literally in front of you and said like, hey, we're going to go try for a baby. And you were like, okay, where, where are we going? No, you're not invited. Okay. Harkin, I need you to have some fun, my guy. You're, you're not having a fun time, which is kind of a problem. Okay. It looks like they're done. I'm going to go see. Oh God. Attraction change. That worried me. I'm going to go take a pregnancy test. I'm so nervous. If we're pregnant, the timer is going to start ticking literally right now for Harkin. So we're going to go on a date right away. Are we pregnant? Ah! Oh my God, we're pregnant. That's exciting. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta go tell Percy. The green generation is on the way, you guys. I cannot believe it. Share secret, kiss cheek. We gotta like share the big news and everything. How am I able to try for a baby again when I'm already pregnant? That's what I wanna know. You guys are so cute. I love you so much. Hold hands. Let's ask due date because we're curious. They're so cute together. Oh my God, I love them so much, you guys. I'm really glad that you also like Luna as much as I do. Promise to dedicate a song that'll be hot <laughs> oh my gosh look she's already showing wow i love that when you're you take a pregnancy test your belly goes boom like right away <laughs> okay 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 enough of that harkin we need to get you on a date my friend let's go out with that girl again shannon let's ask her on a date shall we ring ring shannon i just feel like harkin has a better chance of finding someone than momo at this point okay let's do a romantic date because we already did a get to know you date and we're gonna be romantic we're gonna try to get a woohoo in there and let's go to hmm i'm trying to side. Where should we go? Let's go to the nightclub again, I think. I just feel like this nightclub is like really romantic vibes. Oh, wait, is that a dead? Oh, I thought that was a dead ancestor. Thank goodness it's not. Hello, Shannon. Wow, these options are not great. <laughs> maybe let's start off just doing small talk. Discuss woohoo on TV. Also, can we maybe change our outfit? I feel like we have a cooler outfit than this for the club. There we go. Why is he in such a bad mood all the time? Old pickup line, maybe. It's like, I can't let him do anything on his own. Why does he want to blame her for his problems? Oh my god, wait. 
Wait, Poppy's here? Poppy is one of our ancestors. That is so awkward. Why are my ancestors coming to this club all the time? Okay, they just started a romantic relationship. So let's maybe ask her about her romantic boundaries. Oh, we already know. Okay, I'll ask her about her satisfaction then. Well, we could do a first kiss. I'm feeling fine in our relationship. Okay, that doesn't sound the best. Don't be mean, Shannon. Okay, if I try for a baby with you, will you invite me to move in? I'm gonna do it. Ooh, Harkin has become overwhelmed with romance lately and feels a compelling desire to embody the essence of a love bug. Yes, we can do that. I think that's perfect. Okay, let's try for a baby in the venue closet. Whoa, Luna has learned more about Harkin and is now attracted to him. Okay, that's unacceptable, actually. Why? Why is my partner attracted to my siblings? I don't like that. I feel like that, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit much. All right, we're gonna go woohoo. Literally, there are so many ghosts here. Oh my god, we got Poppy, Jade, and Dominique. And this place is, like, haunted. Is it, like, ghost night or something here? We got Simon Scott. Okay, you two. Have fun. Be safe. I really hope that she asks us to move in. Otherwise, I might ask her if she wants to join households. Wow, that was really nice. Are you pregnant? I guess we won't know, will we? Because I can't do a pregnancy test. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this a good date. So let's like do, let's share our interests, find cuisine. So, so he says, he's so funny. This is going way better than our first date though. I will, I will admit, maybe we've like improved a little bit. Asked to be a romantic partner, there we go. It looks like Harkin just befriended a homebody sim. Yeah, you can like homebody sims. Oh, she has to pee so bad, but first, would you like to be my girlfriend? It's really important. <laughs> Yay, she said yes. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Now I have to ask, wait, where's the option? Propose early? That's kind of scary. I wonder where ask to move in is. Would it be under deep thoughts? Oh my God, she's holding her belly. I think she might be pregnant, you guys. No, oh, apparently I can't ask her to move in yet. Maybe I don't know her well enough yet. I love how I went and I like sat on the toilet with her. <laughs> okay, it's asking me to woohoo her again. So let's go try for the baby again. Just in case. Look, Shannon knows herbalism. That's good. And I'm just following what the little thing's telling me to do. Why are people, people are like freaking out here because there's ghosts around. Arkin like doesn't care though, I guess. Oh my God, I hope this guy gets hit by a meteor. I think that'd be the funniest thing ever. I want to see you get hit by a meteor so bad. I'm sorry, Miguel. I just think it'd be hilarious. Okay, he like ran inside screaming. So maybe a meteor was coming. People are just like running around everywhere. Okay, we got a silver date on our hands. Hold on, don't go outside. Where are you going, girl? I need to flirt with you again. <laughs> oh, we changed outfits. Okay, love that. Why are these people just running all over the place like crazy? This is supposed to be the most romantic night of my life. Oh, Miguel's going at it again for the telescope. Okay, great news. We have a gold date. Now, how do I like ask if I can move in with you? Pursue your dream job, maybe. <laughs> I can just say goodbye. Can I? It's not in relationship either to like ask to move in. I don't know where it is. Oh, she doesn't like that. I'm so sorry. What are your interests? Let me know. Okay, honestly, I should probably send Harkin home. I feel like this went really well though. So maybe we can invite her over another time and ask her if she wants to join the family. I wonder if we can't right now because we're like in an event. That might be it. It was a legendary day. Let's go. All right, let's go home. We can always invite her over tomorrow and ask. We have like a few days. Overall, I think that actually went like really well considering how bad it went last time. All right, everybody, let's make sure we're ready for bed. What is wrong with you people? Do you not take care of yourself when I'm not here? Corrine is like going to town in the swimming pool. Like calm down. <laughs> She's swimming laps like crazy. Okay, Luna's over here. How's the mother to be? She's looking beautiful and radiant. God, I'm like actually so excited to see what their baby looks like. I cannot contain my excitement. I gotta start thinking of names. If you all have any like name suggestions that are green themed for the green generation, make sure to leave them down below in the comments so that I can pick out some good ones. Also, I feel like I should probably like let Luna sleep in the bed tonight and not on the ground because she's literally pregnant with my child. So I think that would be like the really nice thing for me to do. <laughs> all right, eat some leftovers and then you should go to bed. I'm gonna make her tired because it's like 3 a.m. You should be sleeping. I'm gonna actually, here we go. Let's assign the right side of the bed to Luna. So that she goes to sleep. Momo, why are you up, by the way? Honestly, all of you people need to go to bed, like right now. Why are any of you awake at this hour? It is 4 a.m. Harkin just got back from his super late date and all of you are up. What are you doing? You're just standing up here, Azalea, looking at the floor, smiling. Oh, as soon as I said that, she looked up. Oh, she's back at it again. It's like she can hear me. Like, what do you mean? I wasn't looking at the floor. All right, there we go. A good night's sleep. Okay, no. So instead of drinking coffee like you're doing right now, because that's horrible, you're going to go to bed. And so are you. You're going to
gonna cuddle in bed with Luna and it's gonna be so cute and I want to see it. No, you don't want to? You hate me, Percy? I just asked you to cuddle in bed. Come on. Why won't it let me? Is that broken? Interesting. What if I have her get into bed? Okay, she can get into bed. So it's just the cuddle in bed that wasn't working. Weird. Oh, wow. Today's Winterfest. How beautiful. I never, I never do sim holidays. I don't know. They don't interest me. Oh, look, you're awake. I don't know why though. You had an amazing date. Hold on. We got a, we got a photo. Oh my God. Wait, that's so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? Oh, Harkin. This is so cutie pie of you. Okay, let's invite her over. Invite over to current lot and let's see if she wants to like get a place together because I feel like she's the one. Oh my gosh, she almost fell over walking to the door. That's so scary. <laughs> she's so pretty. We can give her residence keys so that she can come over whenever. Hi, sweetie. Okay, she is definitely pregnant. Look at that. She's like holding her stomach. Okay, ask to join household. There we go. So it really must have just been because we were in like the dating event that it wouldn't let me change households and stuff. All right, here we go. That was a lot easier than I expected. So Harkin and Shannon are going to be together in love and have a baby, which is really exciting. Where are they going to live? I guess they can live where I had Luna staying. Might as well just stay in the neighborhood and stuff. Picture perfect. Okay, well, you two have fun. I don't know why you brought me over here. I'm gonna go to Manage Worlds and get out of here. All right, we are back home. What are you doing, Percy? Is it your day off today? You don't have work today? No, you have work in two hours. Oh my God. Okay, we need to make sure we're ready. Honestly, I think she's fine. She doesn't seem to have any needs that are low. So if you want to swim today, Percy, you can swim. All right, Luna, on the other hand, Luna does not have a job. Oh no, she does have a job. I forgot she's a cop with me. Do I have to participate with both of them? Because that's going to suck with her being pregnant. <laughs> okay, Momo is very dazed, which is not great. I'm wondering if we can like, what is this? Okay, she made herself food, but then instead of eating it, proceeded to place it on the ground. But it looks like Corrine and Momo are going to hang out today. Maybe Corrine could kind of help Momo get through her slump. Oh wow, that that is quite a face there. Momo just didn't really have the best like date last episode. So I feel like she's maybe in a bit of a slump. None of us are gonna celebrate the holidays and that's okay. I feel like maybe I'm gonna discuss healthy relationships with Luna. Cause I feel like that's such a mom thing to do. So Azalea is probably like, I need to make sure this girl is right for my daughter. Make sure it's a healthy relationship. <laughs> Poor, poor Luna's like, yeah, everything's fine. Not the bold pickup line. Can you imagine that? Okay, and then I'm gonna see if I can actually get Azalea to do some writing today because we still need to write one more bestseller. So that would be super cool. The children's book worked really well for us. So I'm gonna do that again. Maybe our only talent is writing best-selling children's books. And you know what? That's okay. Oh, looks like everyone's getting along out here. I love that. That makes me so happy because Percy doesn't get along with her siblings very easily. I don't know why. Like, they just don't like her. Probably because she's the favorite. All right, let's practice some piano. Let's just tickle the ivories for a bit before work, maybe. I'm sorry, Luna, are you making drinks right now? Baby girl, you're pregnant. What are you doing? Oh my God, that better be for your girlfriend and not for you. Where is she taking that drink? I'm watching you so hard right now. What is that? That is literally liquor. Are you gonna drink that? Oh my God, I'm about to call Steve. <gasps> oh my God, she's drinking while pregnant. What is wrong with you? Luna. Oh my God. Okay, wow. Terrible parenting 101 right here. Do not drink while pregnant. That is really bad. Corrine, can you dispose of this, please? Or you know what? You can, you can finish the drink if you really want to. Oh my god. That was absolutely unhinged of her to do. Also, not Momo, like, squeezing her way into the back corner of this room. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? It's okay if you want to watch, but like, I literally made an entire, like, wait. Oh my god. I was about to say, I put chairs there. They weren't there because I was, like, zoomed in. I was like, wait, maybe she's on to something. Oh my god, this is crazy. So I have worked it. I don't have work today. Oh my god, it's a holiday. I'm so sad. Okay, whatever. We'll just play through the day and work on our skills then. Oh good, Luna's less attracted to my mom now. That's great. I really don't need that. You know what I should do? I should make a spa. I feel like I need to make a spa for my Sims to go relax in because I can't remember. Is this the game that I placed the spa that I made in? Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, I'm taking Luna to the spa. Come on, girl. You deserve this. It's gonna be her like rebirth massage or something. I think those are real. Oh wow, who's all here? <gasps> oh my god, the Sim is beautiful. That's Hallie. I want to be your friend. How old are you? She's an adult. I think she's actually Azalea's friend, right? You're really pretty though. Hi. It looks like they could be models together. Oh, she doesn't want to talk. That's fine. Okay. All right, Luna, let's go ahead and check in. Maybe we can change into our robe. Where's the change into robe option? I thought that there was an option to wear robes here. Am I crazy? Maybe I am. Okay, well, maybe we'll start. Let's go take a shower and then we can start in the hot springs. It's like snowing outside, so it'll be nice. Also, I don't think it's advisable to go into a hot tub when you're pregnant. I know that I just yelled at her for like, drinking while pregnant.
pregnant. Look, it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Let me live my life. <laughs> oh, she's just naked. Oh my God. It's because these showers don't work. I need to fix them. It's the platform. Okay, yeah. Why is it not letting me like wear a robe at the spa? I wanna do that. <gasps> oh, Luna's not able to do that while pregnant. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh my God, I can't do that while pregnant either. Well, what can I do? Can I get a massage? Hire a massage therapist. Yeah, I would like a massage and then I would like to get my nails done. Oh my God, don't change into your regular clothes again. What are you doing? Am I able to request? Ooh, I wanna get a deep tissue massage. I think that would be lovely, actually. This person seems really nice. Hi, Lani. I built this lot, by the way. So if you want this spot, it is on my gallery. And then this is the massage room. It looks so cozy. I love the vibes. And then this is where you get your nails done. And then over here are the saunas. People are using them. Oh my God, we should have gotten pregnant in the sauna. That would have been hot, literally. Over here are the showers and locker room. There's a little hot springs outside. And then upstairs is like, there's a juice bar and some yoga. So yeah, I just, I really like this spot. I think it turned out nice. There's also some restrooms upstairs. And yeah, I just, I think a friendly outside looks cool too. It obviously looks better when it's not like snowing, but what can you do? What can you do? How's your massage going? Oh, she really getting in there, huh? This probably feels really good because she's pregnant. Okay, after our massage, let's go order like, okay, we can only get drinks from there. Maybe I can order some food. I'll have some garden salad for lunch. There we go. I feel so much better. Thank you for the massage. I appreciate it. She's in such a flirty mood. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I have to make my own garden salad? Wow, that's crazy. I thought I was just gonna grab it out of there, but she is in here chopping. I mean, I guess that's fine. Oh my God. Imagine you walk in and you see someone pick their earwax and put it into a salad bowl. That's disgusting. You did that in public. Not her eating at the receptionist desk. Do you think you run this place? People are just letting her do it. They're like, yeah, she's pregnant. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's okay. All right, I do want to get my nails done. So I'm going to request a hand massage from Jeffrey Kane and a foot massage from Jeffrey Kane. I don't know who Jeffrey Kane is, but you're going to help me out. Who are you? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, is it because I'm stealing your massage therapist? You were in the middle of that and I just asked him to massage me instead. I'm really sorry. He's like really mad at me. Look at him. Oh my God. <laughs> he went, oh. <laughs> He's looking so angrily over at me getting my hands massaged. <laughs> She's so pissed off. Like, why is this is more funny than it should be? I'd be so uncomfortable if I was Luna right now. I'd be like, this man won't stop like staring at me and scowling. Well, this man is also in a flirty mood. Wow. Okay. I don't know about that. I mean, I get it. Luna's like absolutely beautiful. So it makes sense. What about a foot massage? Don't forget about the feet, Jeffrey. Oh, I'm going to take this chair this time. There we go. I don't think I need a pedicure or a manicure because I already have them done. I would like a face mask though. I'm going to purchase and apply one. I probably should have put that on before I got my nails or sorry, my feet and hand massage. Okay, let's do the golden one because I want to feel really good about myself. Girl, don't go nap on this bench. That's crazy. Why don't you go potty instead? She's looking so pretty. You look so good, Luna. Oh, someone's here. Purchase social item. What is that? I want to know what that even means. Wait, aren't you the person? Oh, I thought you were the person scowling at me. No, you're not. Okay, social item. Interesting. I feel like that's a kind of a new thing. Order food. Could I have a bowl of olives, please? Very green for a green baby, you see. When bowl of olives. I've been here the whole day. Oh, those actually look really scrungly and gross. Where are you going to eat them over here? Girl, I don't know if I would eat those olives. I, I don't know if I would do that. She's literally living her best life. I love that for her. All right, we have to remove our facial mask now. She's going to keep eating those olives though. You better believe it. And then I think we're going to send her home because she's very tired. What a lovely day at the spa. How spontaneous of me. That was, that was a bad joke. I'm really sorry. Never again. Oh, Oh, I should probably meet you. Hello. You're my girlfriend's best friend, right? Damien. Hi, nice to meet you. All right, I'm going to bed immediately. All right, Percy's just inside. Your besties here if you want to say hi to them. I'll go ahead and invite them in. Hi, how was your day at the spa? I hope you had a good day. Who are you? Do I know you? Okay, no, this person just randomly walked up. Luna, go to bed, dear. Come on, super tired. All right, I feel like I asked you to do some writing today, Azalea. Did you even get any writing done? This is what happens when I don't watch your every move. And you're not off the hook yet, Momo. Just just because you failed miserably on your first date doesn't mean I'm gonna let you get away with not <laughs> finding someone and getting out of my house. We're gonna need more room eventually, but you can stay for now. There's like no, no immediate pressure. Oh yeah, I can get rid of this now. That's right. Let me sell the sleeping bag. All right, let's get my Sims ready for bed here. Okay, Damien, I really appreciate you, but can you go home and stop harassing my mom? She's trying to write a book. Really embarrassing. Momo, you should go to bed too. Thank you. Momo still doesn't want to sleep in her bed. I don't understand why. Percy, why are you up? Oh, your besties. Here. Your bestie's embarrassed. I don't know where they went. No, you can't bother your mom. Your mom is writing a book for the 10th time. I'm sorry. Did Percy fall asleep at the kitchen table instead of going upstairs to be with her girlfriend who is pregnant? Why do my Sims not want to go to
go to their beds. You would rather sleep in a chair. That's actually crazy to me. All right, Azalea got light writer's block. I can't speak. Azalea got writer's block, so she's going to bed. Good night, everyone. Uh-oh, we're up super early, super uncomfy because we're so pregnant. That's okay, though. At least we didn't pee our pants. That's always something that could happen. But good morning, Corrine. I see you're up early as well. Good to see you. We should be going into work today. I know it's been a couple days since we've done that. Things keep coming up. Oh, no, it's broken. Corrine, can you fix this, please? Thank you. Really appreciate you. Good morning, more and more. It's good to see you. All right, work starts in an hour. So that means, oh my God, Percy's work starts in an hour. Percy, you gotta get up. <laughs> You gotta wake up right now. Oh my God, we're not gonna have enough time to get ready for the day. This is really bad. Yeah, you can dislike candiness, Corrine, honestly. That seems like you. Can we eat something before we go? Ooh. Okay, this is for Luna. So I'm gonna send Luna alone. Does that mean Percy's not going to work? Oh, Percy has work in 53 minutes. Okay, so I can send Luna alone, which is good because I don't wanna work with Luna. It seems like Percy doesn't have to go in until an hour later, which is nice. So we should have enough time to get ready. Love that for me. All right, let's go take a shower and then we'll be all ready to go. Oh my God, there's just trash on our floor. Can you pick this up, Corrine? You're the one who made this mess. Why don't you clean it? All right, let's go with Percy. I wonder if we'll see Luna at work because she technically works in the same spot, so. Training day two, train harder. There's still a bit more to learn before you're ready for your own case. First, it's time to get out into the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector or a hardened authority figure. After that, you'll get to take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Get a move on, rookie. Does this look like a rookie to you? Okay, I'm supposed to go on patrol. So I'll go ahead and clock in and do that. Oh, I did it immediately. I was going to look around really quick for Luna while I was walking over there, but it seems like we're already on patrol. Oh my God. Is this the goth house? When an officer is on patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with residents to make friendly or mean impression. If you see anyone littering or fighting, issue a citation to make sure they obey the law. Clue discovered. Percy has discovered the suspect is wearing a jacket. Okay, that is so unhelpful. It's winter. Percy has discovered the suspect has black hair. Okay, that narrows it down to not the child, but potentially Roderick, Frederick, or Colt. Percy has discovered the suspect hates children. Okay, so probably not Roderick because they're pregnant. So let's maybe let's do a polite introduction to this person. Oh, Percy does not want to be here. She's in a bad mood. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're literally getting in a fight right in front of me. What the heck? Okay, can I like do my job though? I need to issue a citation. Come here, you scoundrel. You can't just fight in front of me. I'm the law. I'm writing you up. Yeah, how do you feel about that, Colt? Oh, that's literally it. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. I need to return to the police station. <laughs> Where am I even going? I'm going to like play chess at a random house. Let's go back to the police station. That was so like, I don't know, lame. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin. While you have a rough description of the suspect, the more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the perp, they'll be less likely to arrest an innocent who shares a few similarities with a guilty party. Yeah, that seems really irresponsible. Okay, so now I need to issue an APB. Is Luna here? I'm looking for her. No, no. Where's the chief? All right, Chief UA is here. I don't see Luna. Luna? Do you think I think it's because we work at different times. Yeah, she's just like not here at all. What's going on now? Why is this just a bunch of loading screens? A suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted. Ask around to see if anyone can point you towards the suspect. Okay, all right, I'm nervous. Oh, it's time for the Starlight Accolades. So the award show is going on right now. Okay, I need to use my notebook. The suspect hates children, wearing shorts, has black hair, and is wearing a jacket. Okay, could they be inside this venue that I'm not allowed to be in? Because I technically can't get in here. I'm not a celebrity. Okay, I think this person matches the description. The teen, shorts, black hair, and a jacket. I'm unfortunately gonna have to just teleport in here. I'm gonna ask them about the suspect. Are you the suspect? Is this you? Do I need to arrest you? Isn't that her right there? No, she doesn't have black hair. I feel like they're trying to mislead me. I'm going to arrest you. You're under arrest, young man. Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I really hope it's the right person. Okay, how do we know? Now that you've learned to work about in the world, you should know there's plenty to do around the station too. Run criminals through the booking station, take crime reports from civilians and get to know your co-workers. You can also use the gym upstairs to stay fit or browse the database on a computer to bolster your knowledge of the criminal mind. All right, let's talk to the chief. I want to kiss up. Let's do the, a polite introduction and then discuss case theories with the chief. Hello, Chief UA. It's me, Percy Berry. And no, I do not follow the dress code. Honestly, she's really pretty. What if I like flirt with her? Oh, why did I do that? Why did I just scare her like that? That was kind of crazy of me. Woohoo in the shower. Oh my God. Can you imagine I just woohoo with the boss? It just says talk to the chief. And I mean, like, I'm doing that. I'm yapping. Percy has learned more about UA 
and is attracted to her? Oh my god. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and let's take some mug shots. Hello. I need to get your mug shots, please. Thank you. Let's get fingerprints while we're out here. Okay, and then I need to exercise for an hour. All right, let's run with our chest out. We got this. <laughs> it goes so fast. That was not for an hour. Get back on there, corporal. Okay, there we go. We're good now. Browse the police database. Oh, someone's finally off their freaking computer, so I can do that. I swear, all the computers are always taken. That's right. I snuck onto your computer while you weren't looking. Jennifer Haas was super pregnant. She's really pretty too. Discuss case theories with coworkers. All right, let's talk to Jennifer here. Here we go. All right, we just got to keep doing these like menial tasks during the day until the day is over, it looks like. I'm uncomfortable because I'm lazy. Oh my God, from working out. I need to get over it. Oh my God, wait, Katy Berry. That's one of my relatives. I'll take her police report. Hey, Katie, what, what's going on? Talk to me, girl. Also, it's so good to see you. Did you get your badge? Would it be possible to speak to a more senior officer? Well, all right. Okay, Katie, that's actually really toxic of you. Never mind. I was gonna hug you, but now I don't want to. All right, let's go ahead and search subjects. Saffron's texting. I heard you just became friends with Yue. She's pretty cute. Okay, granny. All right, Luna went home. That's good. We get to go home so soon. Percy is like so tired. Why don't you build a snow pal or something? It's the end of the day. It's probably fine. Yay! You did a fantastic job. Well done, Percy. All right. Well, we are home from work. And honestly, this might be a really good stopping point for the episode today. Let's just see how far along Luna is in her pregnancy. Oh my God, wait. We don't know when she's going to give birth. She's going to give birth whenever. So that means like next episode, we're going to have a baby. I'm not even joking. This is not a drill, you guys. As always, thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode or any of my other content here on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I am going to need help with green themed names in the comments, suggestions for the next air potentially. So please, if you have any cool name ideas, let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, I love you all a lot and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.